Tommy Rich out here whining and moaning and groaning, and it actually made me, it actually made the humble one shed tears from my eyes, and you can look right here, this is the crying towel that actually made tears come out of Austin Idol's eyes because of Tommy Rich's big sob story. Now you're talking about, everybody's talking about the idol being a bounty hunter, and that I'm jumping in on people's matches. Well, let's show the other side of the story. Let's show what Tommy Rich has been doing. You've got the film. Let's see the other side of the story now. Well, I would assume you're talking about uh, the one time that certainly Tommy Rich did what he had to do. Let's take a look. I'll right here, tell you sir. exactly what, you? what I'm giving this man the whipping that his father wouldn't give him when he was a baby. I'm going to take a belt to him like you would any other dog, and that's all he is. Now, is that your champion? Wrestling, too, has been running roughshod in the Georgia area for quite some time. But I am the first man in Wrestling 2's wrestling career. Right now, sir, it looks to me like you're trying to strap that belt around the leg just the way you injured Tommy Rich and put him out of action. And look at that. Look at Tommy. Everybody's sticking their nose in my business. But look at the man has knocked me completely out. I'm unconscious at this point in time. But look, even still, I did not relinquish that Las Vegas leg lock. I did not. And at that point right there, I will guarantee you, just as sure as my name is Austin Island, just as sure as I am the prettiest man that ever walked the face of the earth, that that wrestling too is screaming, please let me go. Well, I obviously, quit. I give. I quit. Oh, I find that difficult to believe, sir. First, first of all, you said you heard him say, I quit. Wrestling too has never quit. He However, said I quit. I heard him say I quit. All right, now, it was just a short time later, uh, in fact, on March 22nd, sir, that you came out here, you made the statement that you had challenged Wrestling 2 to a match. And you said the minute the challenge was made that he suddenly, very frightenedly, left the building. Okay? We found out later what the situation was surrounding the circumstances his leaving the building. Also, suddenly, a person appeared in the ring who appeared to be Wrestling Number 2. And in fact, turned out to be not to be Wrestling Number 2. Now, all of this ties in with the World Heavyweight Championship, the fact that you want the title match, Wrestling 2 wants it. Let's go back to that moment in time. Let's please. go. Well, let me see it, too. And Austin Idol up on that second row. Scratching down. And it's... I'm beginning to wonder... I'm beginning to wonder if that... Uh, He doesn't seem to have the, the same kind of... He's caught in that figure four, but he doesn't seem to have... He's conceding? He is con... Well, I can't believe that. I can't believe Wrestling 2 would ever concede. I absolutely cannot believe that Wrestling 2 would, would ever concede. Austin Idol, uh... I just... Well, I'm just beginning to, to have some doubts here about this entire situation. Uh, he didn't seem to have the, the... You saw it all right there. Everybody saw what happened there. And they didn't just see it in Georgia. They saw it in Alexandria, Louisiana. They saw it in New Orleans. They saw it in Chicago. They saw it in Knoxville. They saw it in New York. I made the so-called legend give up. I made... The so-called legend quit. He screamed. I heard him scream. I quit. I give. You are the best. You are the master. There's wrestling, too. Look well, at that's him. The thing that, that has licking puzzled, his I, wounds. I can't. Show you a puzzle. He is licking his wounds. And now that he is out of the way, there's only one more to fall. And that will be none other than Harley Race. Harley Race will fall now. I will have the Georgia title now. The Georgia title belongs to me. Right in the middle of the ring. That buffoon, I made him give up. The most devastating hole of all. Watch out! Whoa! Wait a minute. And that is wrestling. There's no question in my mind now that that is wrestling too. In his street clothes. Wrestling too. We've got to get. He has uh, charged him right here on the, the interview set, Wrestling 2, in an absolute fury. And so that means one thing for sure, that that man in the ring was not, in fact, Wrestling 2.
All right, let's set the record straight. You look at that animal. You saw what that animal did to me, and he was fined $2,500, and he should have been suspended. Like I said before, he is an escaped convict, and he should be out of wrestling. Well, first of all, the only reason Wrestling 2 left the building that morning is because he received an emergency phone call saying a relative was in the emergency room at the hospital. That turned out to be a fraudulent call. No such... A uh, thing happened at all. That's why Wrestling 2 left the building. When he came back and saw a phony Wrestling 2 in the ring, he did the only thing he could do, sir. However, then the following week, the Georgia Heavyweight Championship on the line, and uh, it took three, didn't it, Mr. Idol? Took three? What are you talking about? It took three. All right, let's take a look at that Georgia Heavyweight Championship match here on television. My own man. World Heavyweight Champion Harley Race out there. Issuing some uh, comments to uh, Austin Idol. Wrestling two with a side headlock. Austin Idol brings him up. Brings him down on that uh, knee. And Harley Race applauding the efforts of uh, Austin Idol. Obviously a very prejudicial situation. Austin Idol tried to set him with a Las Vegas uh, leg lock, but uh, Wrestling 2 broke him up. Wrestling 2 catches him, explodes with the right hand. Wrestling 2 brings him up a full body slam. High knee lift and has Idol on the canvas into a lateral press. No, sir. It's good as that time. Wrestling 2 and, uh, and uh, Harley Race. Harley Race caught by Wrestling 2. And it is now Wrestling 2 catching... Uh, uh, the referee hurtled into the ropes. Wrestling 2 has been dazed on this one. Austin Idol catches him with a hard right hand. And it is Wrestling 2 caught again. The referee is still down and well, Harley Race doing something with that Georgia heavyweight championship belt. Race wrapping that belt around the turnbuckle. Austin Idol and Wrestling 2 battling it out. The Georgia heavyweight championship on the line. The referee is still down and out. Austin Idol catches him again. And uh, it is race, as you can see, still working with that uh, heavyweight. And it was Austin Idol hurtled into the belt. Austin Idol smashed into that belt on the turnbuckle, the Georgia heavyweight championship belt. Tommy Rich put his pockets on the scene. Tommy Rich after the world heavyweight champion, Harley Race. We've got a battle going on in the ring the ring. Harley Race is down. Tommy Rich still after him. Rich in his street clothes. And it is uh, Wrestling 2 getting uh, Austin Idol with a full Boston traffic. Just a moment. There comes Baron Von Raschke. Von Raschke smashing uh, Wrestling 2 back into that belt. Now put the claw on him. It's broken up. Tommy Rich in there. Tommy Rich in there. And it is uh, Austin Idol. Wake up. No, no, no. Well, sir, you won the title, there's no question about that. You better believe I won the title. The man of which I won it has nothing to do with it. Harley Ray stuck his nose in there, I think, for one reason, to make sure that that match was going to be on the up and up and that it was going to be fair and square. It was a no disqualification match. The end result is I won the match, and I should be wrestling Harley Race for the world's title. I to be the number one contender for the world's title and i am the number one contender for the world's title and wrestling too if you think that you are then you're crazy well he has the match but tomorrow night at the omni tommy rich has you sir listen this is going to be like school i'm going to be the teacher and tommy rich you're going to be the student i gave you one lesson and i thought one lesson would be enough but you didn't get the drift now I'm going to give the final and the ultimate lesson, and you better believe one thing, darling, in the Omni tomorrow night, school will be out, and I am the ruler, I am the teacher, and Rich, you will pay for everything. Time limit. Introducing first from New York, weighing in at 238 pounds, the maniac Mark Lewin, with his manager, the great Mephisto, his opponent, Austin Idol. Into the ring, and Mark Lewin attacking Idol immediately. Catching him with a series of shots to the side of the head. And it is idle now.
trying to fire back. Idle beginning to score effectively to the midsection. Mark Lewin moves outside the ring and Austin Idle is after him. And now the battle has moved outside the ring and it is Austin Idle catching it in the side of the court again by uh, Mark Lewin. He was hurtled into that steel ring post and now they still battle outside the ring. Mark Lewin smashed into the turnbuckle and Lewin back into the ring and Austin Idol is after him. Austin Idol beginning to turn the tide of the battle now. Idol, who was caught coming into the ring now, beginning to move even more effectively. Gets him across the desk and it is Austin Idol going for the uh, Las Vegas leg lock. Austin, wait a minute. The great Mephisto charged into the ring and Idol is after him now. The referee is calling for the bell. The referee is calling for the bell. And it is uh, Mark Lewin catching Idol with a sleeper hold. The bell has rung. The bell has rung, but it is Austin Idol caught in that sleeper hold. And uh, the referee trying to separate it. The match is over. Idol in trouble here. Idol beginning to foam at the mouth. This could be a choke hold. More than just a sleeper, he could be choking in the referee's morning the pistol to uh, separate the The pistol trying to get that cloth over the eyes of uh, Maniac Mark Lewin, but he doesn't appear to be trying too hard. Idle in tremendous trouble here. And they're trying desperately to separate that hold to free Austin Idol from the clutches of the sleep hold. And wait a second. Lewin finally separated. Lewin finally separated as they have come over there, but if we have a problem here with Austin Idol. Mephisto caught in that ring and they've got Mephisto now. And uh, they are after a maniac Mark Lewis. The referee trying to get things separated here. And of course they are concerned now about Austin Idol, who is still unconscious on the uh, ring. And it's wait a second. Again it breaks loose. Lewin trying to get in there. Austin Idol now, and frankly, getting very concerned about Idol as to whether or not uh, they're going to be able to bring him around. He has been unconscious for an inordinately long period of time. Mark Lewin being held at bay by Terry Taylor and Mike Davis. Kevin Sullivan is there, Mike George. And is he conscious? Is he conscious? That is our question. Is the man conscious? And it is one by one. Everyone will pay one by one. The comments by the great Mephisto, but it is Austin Idol who is still, still uh, being revived there on the, uh, on the, on the ring itself, and still having uh, a great deal of difficulty. I don't know whether he is fully conscious or not. And they uh, continue to work on him, trying to bring him around, and it appears that he might be coming around slightly. Tommy Rich moving out there now. And Idol being uh, removed from the ring. But he is not coming around. Idol is not coming around. Those eyes, uh, when they were opened, were absolutely glassy. There appeared to be no, uh, there appeared to be no semblance of recognition of anything.